Motown artists who have sadly died. Motown Records is an American record label owned by Universal Music Group. It achieved 79 records in the top 10 Billboard 100 in a duration of nine years during the 1960s. Motown record label developed its own unique sound with their use of different instruments mainly the tambourine, drums, and even the keyboard. The record label has attracted a lot of artists over the years. In this video we are going to feature some of the artists that made the Motown record label a success since its induction till date. Tammy Terrell Tammy Terrell who was born as Thomasina Winford Montgomery was an American singer and songwriter best known as one of the star singers for the Motown label during the 1960s. Beginning her career as a teenager, Terrell recorded her first music materials with the Wand record before signing with the Motown Records in the year 1965. She worked with several artists including, Marvin Gaye. With Gaye, the duo released seven hit songs that dominated top 40 singles on the Billboard Hot 100 including, Ain't No Mountain Higher that was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in the year 1999. Tammy Terrell's career was brief as she was diagnosed with brain tumor in 1967 and eight surgeries later, she passed away. She was only 24 years of age. Barrett Strong Barrett Strong is an American singer and songwriter who was the first artist to record a hit song for Motown through its branch, Tamala Records. As a songwriter, he wrote lyrics for many of the songs recorded by the legendary vocal group, The Temptations. In 1973, Strong received a Grammy Award for Best R&B Song and in 2004, he was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Later in 2008, Barrett Strong released his latest album Stronghold 2. Throughout his career, he released four albums. Strong died at 81 years of age. Mabel John Mabel John was an American blues singer and the first female artist to be signed by Barry Gordy into the Motown Tamala Records. John who was born on November 1930, began her career in the 1960s as an insurance representative and later she transited to music. She rose to fame as part of the vocal groups, Martha, and the Vandellas and later the Supremes. In 1962 her contract with Motown was dissolved and she went ahead to pursue a solo career with Stax record label where she released her hit single, Your Good Thing. The song peaked at number 6 on the R&B charts. In the early 1990s she joined Moto City record label to continue her career. Apart from music Mabel John appeared in several films including the 2007 movie Honey Dripper where she played the veteran singer John Sayles and in 2020 the Oscar winning documentary, 20 Feet from Stardom. Mabel John died at the age of 91 years in August 2022. Earl Van Dyke Earl Van Dyke was an American soul music artist and the main keyboard player for Motown. He joined the record label in 1960s and became the band leader for the vocal group, Funk Brothers. He also recorded jazz music with saxophonist Fred Jackson. As the main keyboardist at Motown, he worked with other vocal groups including, The Four Tops and the legendary The Temptations. His style of music also influenced other music artists till date. Apart from music, Dyke also appeared in films such as the 2002, Standing in the Shadows of Motown. Earl Van Dyke died of prostate cancer at the age of 62 years back in 1992. Patrice Holloway Patrice Yvonne Holloway was an American soul and pop singer and songwriter. She was the youngest of the three Holloway siblings including the Motown artist, Brenda Holloway. She began her career recording with Capitol Records and later she moved to Motown where she sang back up for her elder sister Brenda. She co-wrote the hit song, You've Made Me Very Happy which in 1969 rose to number 3 on the Billboard Hot 100. Holloway is best remembered for her notable works for singing voice of Valerie and Hannah, Barbera's 1970s Josie and the Pussycats television series and the later co-wrote the theme song for 1980s television series, The Wonder Years. Although her career was brief, Patrice Holloway made quite the impact. He died at the age of 55 years back in 2006. Barbara Randolph Barbara Randolph was an American soul singer and actress who rose to fame as one of Motown's soul artists. She began her career in the early 1950s as an actress and acted in films and shows such as It's a Wonderful Life in 1946 and later at the age of eight years when she played Tanya in 1953 film, Bright Road. In 1957, she began her music career when she and her mother joined the vocal group, led by Steve Gibson. Randolph launched her solo career in the 1960s and singed with several records including, Motown. She toured with Motown best vocal groups including, The Four Tops and Gladys's Night and The Pips. Barbara Randolph released two singles between the years 1960s to 1970s. 
Barbara Randolph died at the age of 60 years after battling with cancer for a while, in 2002. Thank you for watching, remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. See you on the next video.